Artem, we took a look around. The main gate is guarded by a skeleton crew. You cannot go through gate. Go through the prison cellar where the Munai by Lair keep the slaves. Uh, <laughs> yes. In any case, the plan is this. Gul and I will try to take their guards down quietly and get in through the gate. If quiet does not work out, we will at least distract them, while you get in through the underground. <sighs> Let's go. We'll walk with you. Don't lag behind. I have a favor to ask. If possible, don't kill the slaves. They're not... They just obey the Manai by Lair. Obey the Baron. They're afraid, that's all. Who was right about the locals? Here. This place. They're just kids, and all have been under brainwashing for ages. So we probably should take pity on them. So, a great? Well, let's do this. All right, I'll raise it and you get through. Come on, this shit is heavy. Great. See you up there. No use. Nobody go. Nobody fool. We stand here. All day here. You suck. Better go hunt, find some food, make slave, more use that way. You said right. Completely. Very right. Faster, fuck! You work or you go off the dog! <laughs> Men I understand, dogs not pity. They don't know what to do. They torture dog and laugh. Little dog can't grow. Get eaten by other dog. Dog better than such Mirza. Such Mirza is dog himself. What is it? Can't you sight on? Let's sight on his head. Don't kill me, please. Take that! See you up there. No use. Nobody go. Nobody fool. We stand here. All day here. You suck. Better go hunt, find some food, make slave, more use that way. Or shaitan. Some shaitan there. I know now. What? We have bad luck to come where I stand guard. Bad luck or big balls. He's here now. He's here!
Your dog is weak. Weak is just like you. Not have master in fight at all. Too good dog. My place is my place. Fuck you! Run fast, you fuck, my Yes, Mirza, spare me! Kill! Fuck! I'm Mirza, you can't sleep before. You're Hey! 
What the hell? Get out of here! Thank you, Thank you for your cooperation. Look, just go while I'm asking nicely. Come on! What's taking so long? Come over here already! Oh, why do I always get that? The others whores drink Master's water. So. Gotta give her a lesson Forgive now. me, Uli Mirsa. Glad you listened. Oh. Come on, I'm the last of It's one of those new arrivals. Come to lick the boss here. Hey, pretty boy. Did you come from afar? Get your ass over here. You're the one. <laughs> Did you expect a different reception? <laughs> Alter your weapon. Here we can talk without the masks. I trust everyone present implicitly. You find it weird that I'm not really bothered by your little. Mischief. Well, you see, this world is a harsh and chaotic one. I'm just doing my best to introduce a little order into it. Without which there is no hope for something better in the future. But with no hope, you can't live. But let us cut to the chase. You definitely did not come here to enjoy the scenery. Ergo, you have a goal. And that goal is probably far from here. I respect people with their purpose in life. So, I am ready to provide you with fuel for your journey. I'm not asking for much in return. Surrender Gyul to me. Bring her to me, and we all win. I have you. You will have your fuel. Everyone gets to live long and prosper. Now. The fuel has come for you. You'll answer for everything. He locked it. From the other side, the coward! Do you think I am a fool? You didn't want to see it. Now you will all die! Starting with you, you! Kill that! <laughs> Artyom, get ready. We must kill these dogs!
Oh, impressive. So, this is the plan Kyun was talking about. What the hell is going on there? Get out of there! I'll send people to cover your retreat! The door's giving! Let's give it a shove, Artyom! You wanted to create a new Shut world up. with this? Not happening! Your misguided attempt! I got her! Take the Baron! It's the strongest who survives! You gave my people hope. I'll never forget it. But this war has only started for me, and I must see it to the end. The winning end. Artyom, your dream led us here, but it won't help my people. This war is mine now, too. Go, Artyom. Follow your dream. I was so worried. Fanatics on the banks of Volga. Cannibals in the mountain bunker. Slavers on the shores of the dried out sea. How many monsters has the war given rise to? Or perhaps, were they always there? And the war simply gave them a chance to show themselves, and now we're stuck with them forever. Will Damir, who stayed in the desert to help Kyul lead their people to freedom, beat another monster. The inertia of thought, that had been keeping the subjugated locals in willing and ready servitude to tyrants? Frankly, I have doubts. That monster might prove stronger than all the others. Regardless, we can't afford to lose hope. We're getting ever closer to our dream. Finding a place where we could live, free from radiation and mutants. The maps we recovered in the desert have provided us with several promising options. And now the crew members are excitedly waiting for the Colonel's decision on where the Aurora should go next. Currently, though, the train is calmly rolling eastward. The crew rests and Stepan proposed to Katya. It was a proposal she couldn't refuse. <coughs> Damn coughing. We've left those sands long ago, and it still persists. <coughs> What does Crest even smoke? <laughs> it's terrible. In any case, I'm better now. I hate to interrupt, guys, but uh, you should come to the mess hall. The table is almost served. Thanks, Stepan. We'll be there in a moment. Shall we go, Artyom? Or shall we stay a little longer? It's so nice. You know, Artyom, I've been looking at Stepan and Katya, you and me, and thinking how lucky we are. It was so different with my parents. It was bad. Did I ever tell you why my mom died? Of course I didn't. It was because of Dad. He used to be even harsher back then. Used to come home from the barracks and reach for the bottle while taking off his boots. They'd quarrel, and then he'd stop appearing for a time. And 
while he was away, she'd start drinking too, and crying when she was sober. She'd feel better, would get kinda dreamy when drunk. You know how she used to call me, just A. She'd hug me and say, one day, A, you and I are going to go to Vladivostok, the city I was born in, and from there to a village on the ocean shore. I was five back then and didn't really get much, but I could imagine that village and the ocean so vividly because I believed her. And then she killed herself, drank some kind of poison. Father quit drinking after mom's death. Didn't ever pay much attention to me, but with her gone, he'd never leave me alone, took me along everywhere. We only talked about her a couple of times, though. I used to have this doll, Jana. I played make-believe that she was my daughter and we went to the ocean together. Then my father hid it, told me it got lost. He probably didn't want me to agonize over mom's dream. Then I imagine she grew up and went to Vladivostok. And now I'm going. Not to Vladivostok, but with you. The dream came true. By the way, I was always intrigued by what Dad dreams about. He should have some dreams, but what are they? Higher rank? He could choose any. Saving people? What would the saved do next? Sit underground? I never understood him. What does he hope for in life? What makes him happy? Nothing, perhaps. He never really had any time to think about tomorrow. Down in the metro, those thoughts don't come casually. Here on the surface, though. I, for one, have something I want to do. I want to run through the sand barefoot. Build a sand castle for the kids. I'm imagining two. A boy and a girl. The boy would be a copy of you. We'd go swimming with mountains behind us. Wooden houses on the shore. The sun would wake us up every day, rising from the ocean. That harbor is our destination. Worth going there even if we have half the world to cross. Everyone should have a destination. A point on the map where they aspire to go, and where one could finally be happy. All our guys have their own. Duke used to have one. Damir, another. We broke out of the metro and are now starting to scatter. Not at once, of course. At first, we're all still running together, searching. But eventually, each of us will find a point like this and stay there. I don't know where my dad's destination is. Don't know where yours is either. But I know I love you a whole lot. Go, Artyom. I'll rest some more and join you later.
What do you know? <laughs> Everything is perfect, Artyom. Follow us. Well, if that's <laughs> This is ingenious. This is great. <laughs> Good job. Come on, guys, give it your all. Is it Fox Drop? What's the word? <laughs> you guys are just amazing. <laughs> that was a great laugh. Thank you, boys. Well, that was an unforgettable Friends. show. Wow. You have lots of hidden talents. Katya, <laughs> I've kept silent for too long, but now I simply must talk. I have to warn you about Stepan. He is incredibly, disgustingly nice and kind-hearted. Yes, no, indeed. I, as a misanthrope of note, am appalled. <laughs> I noticed that already. He is incredibly kind. Ah, uh, that's just slander. They are jealous. Well, Stepan, jealousy is to be expected. Not everyone here is blessed with such an amazing wife, buddy. Crest is right. I, for one, have positively gone green with jealousy already. Green to the core. <laughs> thank you. No, Katya, thank you. Look at Stepan. You made him happy. <laughs> but of course. <laughs> yes. Artyom, finally! Take a seat, please. We haven't even started, Russia. really. The poor sinner. Better yet, find Take a seat, Artyom. Let's sit somewhere. <laughs> it's a convent I join. <laughs> <laughs> and why not? Solitude is tearing at my soul. What did I miss? Why, I've even been the you should have seen them die. Don't you worry. You'll get another chance. A moment of your attention, please. <laughs> <laughs> 